Hey guys, welcome back to the community plot, the community garden plot. Uh, today I just stopped by, I stopped by Home Depot, picked up some materials, and I'm starting the trellising system. It might be too close. Uh, which I basically just bought two gallon pots, nursery pots, uh, two bags of 90 pounds each of quickcrete, and the two by two redwood post. Um, they're eight feet tall, but this garden only allows you to do six feet tall on trellises and so i just had home depot cut two feet off so i've got seven two foot pieces which i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with yet but we may use them for something i don't know yet all right so these are two gallon pots the quick crete and this what's been cut down to six feet so basically just fill up the thing shove in the post yes i try to get them as level as possible there is a level over in the shed and just uh, fill them up with water. I started over on that end, filled up, I think half of them, and then watered them all in as that water drained through. I did the other three or four on this side. Once I was done with these, I watered the bed back, I watered the beds in, I figured since I'm already here and I'm waiting for these things to soak in anyway. Then I went back to that one, topped them off with more of the quick creek stuff, topped them off more with uh, more water. And so at this point they're just soaking in. And so this is going to be the first part of the video. I'm going to come back probably tomorrow. Uh, I do have, I got to grab that, my um, Hori Hori. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on that end and then basically just technically two per side. Because then on the back side over here we have three. The two on the ends will go in the corners here and then on the other side behind that tomato plant. That one's going to go in the middle, this one in the middle, and so on that one on the end not in the walkway but in the bed itself and those two you know that one in the middle and then that one on the end and so i'm looking at it and so i'm going to bury them and just by looking at them sitting outside it looks like they're only going to be sticking out maybe an inch uh, a couple of inches maybe so that'll be perfect yes it's going to take a bed space but um it'll be fine i wanted to do the one gallons but i don't think that the one gallons are going to be wide enough and sturdy enough I want them to be able to hold out some some good weight. Uh, I know that once I put them in the beds here, because the soil is holding it in, it should be okay, but I'd rather be a little safer. So, um, originally I was going to do three per side and then another three here, but I figured these two on the back, this one and this one, can just work its way. I'll go ahead and show you, I'll go ahead and link everything below, at least the products I use, but they're pretty self-explanatory. I am going to link... I already have the netting that goes all the way around. It's going to go all the way around. It's basically going to start from there, wrap all the way around. And so basically this would be just the walls on the outside. South is that way, so the com sun comes this way. So we're back. So now the next day hasn't been quite 24 hours yet, but we have the pots inside the inside the bed inside the plot, and the soil that I took out of here just went up on the middle. Now I need to I'm gonna put in the screws. I'm guessing one on top one somewhere about down halfway and one toward the bottom and then that way i can then wrap it around all the way around so let me do that all right it's been at least a few days and obviously i got a lot more work done than just a trellis um, but i also this is my second time doing this because the first time i thought i was shooting video when in fact it just took a picture like this of this view anyway last i left you we were I believe I was putting up the netting. The netting takes me off. This was on Friday. Today is now Monday. Uh, obviously over the weekend we got some work done, but basically I just went ahead and took the netting, finished it off, and just 
literally wrapped it all the way around. The only issue I had with the thing was I got a little tangled, so that's why I got annoyed in the last part of the video. Uh, the only other issue is that, so the netting is technically 30 inches, I guess, long. Oh, no, sorry, not 30 inches, 30 feet. And so I think because I started in about a foot and a half in here, it made it technically not needing to be the full 30 feet. And then this one is cut short anyway, so I'm going to be using so it's 3 feet, so that's 30, so 27 feet is really all I needed. So this is probably just 3 feet right up here, so I did it on the bottom, wrapped it around, brought it up, tied it here, it looks very professional. Cost on all this, it wasn't the cheapest project, but it was going to probably be one of the easiest. The soil, if you can see the other plots, is basically rock hard. Um, so there was no way to drive T-post in here, I would have had to get 7 feet, get a T-post driver, hammer it in about a foot, and with that rock hard soil, dry soil, it's not going to help. Not only that, I would have had to get a T-post driver, and the T-post driver alone is like 60 bucks, just the T-post driver. The cost for the posts, so the basic gist is the two gallon pots, the quick crete, the post, and the netting. The netting I found on Amazon for like nine bucks. Uh, so I spent about 80, so about $90 for the full system. Yeah, I know it's an investment, but at least this way I know that I can use it for years to come. The only thing I may have to switch out every few seasons is probably just the netting. And for 10 bucks, that's, that's not gonna be a big deal. I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna let you guys go. Go ahead and hit the bell notification, hit the thumbs up, and hit that um, hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment, questions, concerns, anything on the trellis.